four, six, eight. No more battles, no more hate. A group of students marched on the campus of Johns Hopkins University Monday evening, hoping to attract attention. We're all kind of here for the same purpose, which is to protect the women and men who have suffered because of sexual assault on campus. We're here to kind of call to action everyone else on campus and to help everyone understand that this is not just a men or women issue, a, a fraternity or not fraternity issue, a sorority or not sorority issue. It's a campus issue and it concerns all of us. Students say the school sent an email with tips on how to prevent becoming a victim. The school later apologized. Though there was no sexual assault reported in that incident, the students say their handling of the incident was all too familiar. The, the university has had similar, uh, you know, instances or incidences and treated them the same way in the past, and they've always been ineffective. These students hope this protest sparks real, tangible change to help those victimized by assault, or better yet, stop the assaults altogether. It would be great if they would put together a trauma response team or perhaps a trauma counseling center. I would like there to be more training um, uh, in terms of like empathy and in terms of understanding. I would like there, uh, I guess, to be more widespread knowledge. Like the main thing is like the lack of connection between the student body and the administration. In response, JHU sent us a statement saying in part, we welcome the engagement and feedback from our students on this important issue today, and we hope students will share more specifics about their concerns so we can work together to ensure Johns Hopkins University is a safe and inclusive environment for everyone.